Hey guys, I'm back for another Power Rangers Turbo review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very rare figure of mine throughout my entire collection. This figure is by far the most confusing figure that I've ever had in my collection for over 10 years. This is the blue Turbo Ranger, as you all know it. He is, of course, Justin, of course, at one time the youngest Ranger in all Power Ranger history. But he actually is still the youngest Ranger in, you know, terms of being, like, being born human. Of course, as you all know, that red Overdrive Ranger is, like, a two-year-old android, but you know what I'm saying. But anyway, this is my blue Turbo Ranger figure. I actually don't remember exactly which figure that this toy was originally released as. Um, he looks like he's like the uh, the uh, standard figure which you would buy sort of sort of you know like an sort of like an SPD light patrol ranger and, and also kind of like an RPM full full throttle ranger. This might be just like the regular figure. I do not quite remember. But anyway here he is. And do you know why he's confusing to me? Let's just take a look at look at his arms. His arms, of course, are on straight, but as you can see, his hands. Look at his hands. They're on backward. Look at that. Apparently, there must have been a factory goof, and the hands were placed on backwards. This is why this figure is really confusing to me. I don't know why his hands are on backwards. I mean. Are they, like, trying to be funny? It's like, oh, ha-ha, you got the messed up figure, ha-ha. Or maybe it was a factory error? I'm probably guessing that it was a factory error. I mean, come on, who seriously messes up that badly on making a popular ranger figure? Well, he was sort of popular since he was a kid and kids looked up to him, but, you know. But anyway, um, this is the blue turbo ranger with the messed up hands. So, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Um... He has very good articulation. His arms can do the whole, like, up thing, which looks kind of weird because it doesn't really look correct. But the only problem is there, his arms can only go out to here, and they can only go up. They cannot do a 360. That's one thing that I'm really bummed about, but, ah, that's nothing. He actually can do the whole splits. Let's get him back up like that. Let's not let him ever do that again. He has knee articulation. His knees can bend. Unfortunately, his legs cannot go back either. They uh, can go front like he's sitting down, but, but they cannot go back. So I'm really confused by this figure. But one thing that's really, really strange is his head articulation. Look at his head. It's straight. You turn it a little bit. Now it's to the side. Reverse. He's looking at that side. I always, I'm, I've always wondered how that's possible, and I think it has something to do with this little black slot in the back. Apparently, it really does look like um, something that you can like plug in and then like maybe gets his head to turn, his arms to go up and down. I'm guessing that's why they're there. I don't know. It's it's just really confusing to me. But you know, it really is a really fancy little thing. I actually like it. Looks very good. He has no weapons, despite the fact that he has a holster. Um, in terms of detailing, he looks like he's been through a pretty big battle. He has some black scratches on here. I really don't know if that's like from permanent marker or if that's just from like stuff that's been going through the through the little box that he that he was in for all these years. I don't quite know. Um, he has he has the black little dents on his front. Right there, um, he really has really bad boot detail. There's like a bunch of stuff here on his on like on like the side of his boots. It's probably hard to uh, see on my camera, but it's there. Parts of his hand have also gone through some wear and tear. His belt has also gone through a little bit of wear and tear. It looks like there's a little dash of red on his belt. Again, it's hard to see because of, you know, my camera and, like, you know, the lighting in my room. It's kind of difficult. But other than that, he looks fairly TV accurate. If you guys ever uh, do happen to see him, I highly recommend picking, picking, bah, picking him up. He is really nice to have in any collection. 
because as you know, he is probably one of a kind. Of course, when you pick up your Blue Ranger figure, you might not have the messed up hands. I guess mine's one of a kind. The messed up hands. It is very good looking. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The only other unfortunate thing about, about his articulation is mainly because his arms can't really, you know, do anything. His arms are basically just like, they, they go up, and they go down. They cannot stand up. Sure, like, he can stand up, but his, but his arms can't stand up. He usually takes a while for you to really get him in his right position. It takes a little while, like that. Like here and there, it, it really is a really big pain in, in, in the neck, really trying to get him to stand up straight, or or you know get him in like somewhat of a in like a respectable pose. His arms can actually like can actually do like a 360, but that's only like around like the like elbow area. That's like pretty much it for like you know like arm 360 movement in general. That's just pretty much it. And also, it's really a strain to to really get his head perfectly straight with this little thing right here. Let's turn a little bit more. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. Looks perfect. It looks straight, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks straight. If it, and hey, if it looks straight to me, it's straight for good. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Anyway, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, pick him up. He's very collectible. Although, you can't find one like mine, because mine's one of a kind. I think. I'm not sure. Check eBay. But anyway, guys, that's it. I will see you around for another review. And, um, yeah. See you, guys. Take care.